Who are you? I'm Yu Zheng, working as an independent artist in the area of interactive art. At the same time, I teach at the university to bridge technology, design and art in education. What does your work mainly relate to? Since 2012, I have explored the possibilities of interactive technology in art, and I research the relationship between artistic expression and audience experience through technology. My artistic style evolved through exploration of various technologies, and it is focused on my own way of aesthetically mapping interaction and expression. Can you talk about your early work? Uh, my early work includes cameras and visual depth sensors as input to projection mapping, and it shows how human posture and expressions can be overlaid and amplified with projected visuals. The first example would be a replication from 2014 that used an interactive camera and projects the live processed video stream onto a large sculpture of over 90 white tables. Hard is the only way is another example from 2015. It's my first interactive installation, which uses four networked and independently operating projectors as a way to create large spatial projections onto a sculpture made of thousands of wires. Can you talk about your current state? Uh, in 2017, I finished my doctor's studies with a dissertation on artistic process involving and reinforcing audience expression. Since then, I focused on the possibilities of advanced interactive technology in the arts, artistic use of technology influences, and shapes meaning transformation and audience experience in the contextual space. And yet, we see many examples of naive and immature technological play in artworks that is shallow and ages fast. Can you talk about the relation of your work and AI? Uh, from a technological perspective, artificial intelligence, and especially machine learning, can replace code and the precise mappings in a way we let data code expression for us and the role of the technological artist actually changes from controlling every single move to growing macro scale behavior. In my work, I use such means carefully and I hesitate to let technology define aesthetics of expression too far. In the end, a tool like a pen or brush or complex algorithm a learned model will only help me present what's in my mind. If AI is special or can transform the role of creative tools remains to be seen. It certainly seems to offer new expectations and experiences, both for artists and for the audience. Still, as artists, we can never let ourselves to be imprisoned by what seems. We need to be true to what is. Thank you.